Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! It's time to... check our mail! <laughs> it's been a while since we've checked the mail, so we should have a bunch of messages here. How's it going, Mark? It's me, Dr. Mason. I have some information for you about Isaac's deck. He's the master of the Lightning Club. His deck is a self-destruct deck! He uses self-destruct for maximum damage. Watch the number of energy cards that his Pokémon, and look out for self-destruct. I would suggest using fighting Pokémon such as Cubone and Rhyhorn to counter Isaac's deck. The Cubone and Marowak deck from the Rock Metal Deck Machine is probably your best bet, if you have enough cards for it! I hope you find many fighting Pokémon in this booster pack. Let's see what we get in our evolution, Machamp. Ooh, did you ever see Rapidash? You might have seen a Rapidash before. Perhaps? Maybe? Might be? Well, now you've seen Rapidash. <laughs> Um, ooh, War Turtle will help with my Rain Dance deck a little bit later. Oh, yeah! <laughs> mm, and you know the rest. Did you find the Pokemon you were looking for in the booster pack? Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason, semicolon, close parentheses. Let's check out Mail 6. It's me, Dr. Mason. It looks like you've won quite a few medals. Want to try building your own deck? Start by changing some of the cards in your present deck. Did it many times over! Keep changing a few cards at a time and eventually he'll have your own unique deck. It's not that difficult. Give it a try, Mason Laboratory. Dr. Mason. You know the drill. P.S. Here's the deal. This time you get two booster packs! Woohoo! Coliseum. Oh, scoop up! A fantastic card! This uh, not only erases damage counters, but, well, it has some disadvantages, but there's many ways to really take advantage of Scoop Up here. It's a really good combo card. Uh, just imagine putting a Hitmonchan with only one energy card back into your hand and putting it back out onto the field or, you know, uh, something that has high HP in general and low energy cards and whatnot. And uh, the fully heal, that's not bad. Getting a lot of Kadabras and Abras, so I'm probably gonna go for a Psychic deck. Uh, next, once I get more energy and whatnot, and once I'm actually more energy and cards and whatnot, I still haven't battled Aaron off camera to collect energy cards, but that's alright. Uh, ooh, ooh, Jungle Jolteon! This isn't the one that uses colorless energy specifically. Uh, I mean, it does have this quick attack here, but it's got the pin missile here, which requires specific lightning energy, so you can't throw it in that multicolored Eevee Evolution deck I was talking about that you could make uh, earlier on in the walkthrough. Um, you know, Starmie. And okay. It's me, Dr. Mason. Have you collected many cards? I have some information about Ken's deck. He's the, he's the master of the Fire Club. His deck consists of Fire Pokémon and Colorless Pokémon. Pit of Water Pokémon against the Fire Pokémon, and Fighting Pokémon against the Colorless Pokémon. I, I kind of made, like, the perfect deck, come to think of it, <laughs> that I currently have now, you know, for Ken, if I rebattled him. Study the decks from the Water and Fighting Metal Deck Machines. Here's a gift for you. It's a Mystery Booster Pack! Ooh, 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 Clefairy! I actually could use this to get a uh, promotional Pikachu card, if you recall, back at the Grass Club. So I might just do that, even though I'll, I'll use my only copy of Clefairy, but I'm gonna have to use it up anyway to get the special Pikachu, so might as well do it now, right? Oh, by the way, Clefairy isn't really the super, super best of Pokémon, because uh, it, it re it's very reliant on the opponent's Pokémon via Metronome, plus it takes three energy cards, so... Yeah, uh, and it only has 40 HP, so despite it being a rare card, it's not super, super the best. Hello, double colorless energy. You are beautiful as always. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Look closely at the card you just received. You should be able to come up with a winning strategy. Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason, Wiki Face. One more, it's me, Dr. Mason. I have some information about Gene's deck. He's the master of the Rock Club. His Rock Crusher deck is extremely strong as Lightning Pokémon, but it's weak against Grass Pokémon. I suggest you study the deck from the Grass Metal Deck Machine. Oh, before I forget, here's a booster pack for you. Oh, it's Evolution! Oh yeah! Pokémon Trader! It's another one of those kinds of cards that let you pick the card that you want to pull out from your deck. So you know this bad boy is going in my deck somehow. <laughs> I might not have much room in my deck, but it, I'm gonna find the way to put it in there. Uh, Game Boy Marowak, I'm not sure if you've seen that, maybe you've seen that before. Well, now you've seen it. <laughs> and there we go. Go to Fijin, the master of the Rock Club. 
Alright, so let's... Oops, no, 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 yes. <laughs> so about that Pokemon Trader, it's a rare card, uh, but it's very, very handy if you can get multiple copies of this, because it increases your chances of drawing, I should say, being able to pull a Pokemon that you want, because whenever you get this, as long as you have one other Pokemon card in your hand, you can pull out any other Pokemon card that's currently in your deck, so that card is most certainly a winner. Um... Hmm... 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 I drop computer search, I'm not sure... Maybe... Hmm... No... Maybe just one gust of wind. I haven't really played much gust of wind lately, have I? Alright... So, now let's go over to the Grass Club, because we have another trade to do for a special Pikachu. So, hey there! Pika! 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 Pikachu! Pikachu's cute! I prefer Clefairy. I'll give you this point, get you if you give me Cle Clefairy! Yeah, 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 da, 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 da. Yes! Pikachu for Clefairy! Promotional Pikachu collected! So, yeah, this is an extremely rare Pikachu card. There's an alternate artwork version of this card as well. Uh, so, what makes it so rare? Well, it's promotional. It's not a super, super good card, because it you know, yeah, it's 24 2 energy with specific energy plus paralysis. I mean, that isn't too bad, but it, and it's got 60 HP. Well, maybe, maybe it's a, uh, I don't know. None of the Pikachus are like super, super powerful, so I don't know. Maybe I'm overblowing the whole not super, super good Pikachu thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the card. I'll take good care of it. So she's got another trade here. And uh, I might do it later, but I'm not sure. It's either Charizard for Blastoise or Blastoise for Charizard, I forgot. I think it's Charizard for Blastoise, actually. Uh, but if you'd like to do that, you can, but it's totally optional for your card collecting, because obviously you can get Charizard and Blastoises from booster packs. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, next club. Um, 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 what, should we, what should we do? Oh, oh, so many places. So many... Okay, there's actually only three places left to go. We got the Psychic Club that's left, the Water Club, and the uh, Fighting Club. But I'm gonna go to the Psychic Club next. Sound good? Okay. What? You also want the Legendary Pokémon cards? I want them too. I'm still not quite good enough. Uh, maybe one day you will be Ash Ketchum. Maybe one day. Yeah, seriously, this look, looks exactly like the Ash Ketchum slash Red Sprite from Pokemon Red and Blue, doesn't it? Look at that, look at that. I'll, I'll flip him around here. Doesn't that? Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Greetings, welcome to the Psychic Club. This club is for people who use like, Psychic Pokemon. Psychic Pokemon are difficult to use, but they're very strong. Uh, hi, I'm Robert. I'm in the mirror of the Psychic Club. The ghost deck is really strong. It doesn't have any weaknesses. Does it? Really? Interesting. And it's a bit difficult for opponents' attacks to cause damage. Would you like to duel me? Actually, no, I didn't mean to talk to you. I just didn't know where Robert was in here. I, for I forgot which one of the people in here was Robert, which is why I started talking here. I will duel him in just a sec, but I want to talk to the rest of the people. I dropped all my cards, so I'm putting them in order here. Uh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> the legendary Pokemon cards are the ultimate cards. Everyone wants to inherit the legendary cards. That's why you play against so many different people. I just lost a duel, so I can't play right now. Oh, sorry to hear that. I don't like people who think too highly of themselves. That's why I don't like the members of the Psychic Club. I wish I could knock them off their high horses. Would you try to defeat Murray, the Psychic Club Master? If you defeat Murray, I'll give you something really valuable. Why, sure! Good, I'll be waiting here for you. No problem. I see you still can't defeat Murray. He's very skilled, but don't give up. I'm pulling for you. If you do defeat Murray, I'll give you something very valuable. Who says I can't defeat Murray? You're jumping the gun, man. Anyway, now I'm gonna duel this guy with the ghost deck here. Ready? Single match of four prizes? Let's duel the ghosts of spookiness! Remember, this is first-gen Pokémon, so there's only three Ghost Pokémon, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. So there's a couple versions of both Ghastly and Haunter, and you're gonna see them both, probably, if you battle this deck. Ah, uh, Magmar's definitely going out, oh yes! Magmar, my bro. <laughs> Get so many, so many prize cards. And... Smokescreen! I might just be able to wipe him out here. 
like, next turn, because if I get the poison with, um, Smog and he doesn't have a bench Pokemon- Oh, he got a bench Pokemon. I was gonna say, if he doesn't have anything and I get the poison, that would be, uh, uh, Nako. Uh, put that on there. Put that there. I should see a win without taking all the prize cards. Nako win type thing. You get what I'm saying here. Let's continue. Smog! <laughs> Aw, I didn't get it. He's probably gonna go for a uh, Leech Life then. So I'm gonna be forced to use a Smog on the next turn. Mm, yep, there's the Leech Life. And that recovers 10 HP to him too. Well, to that Zubat. That's why it's gonna force me to use the uh, smoke screen. Ooh, <laughs> Hitmonchan! Mm, I guess I'll put that on there and smog. Sound good? I thought so. Okay. And prize card? Maybe I can wipe out that Meowth before he gets another bench Pokemon. Uh oh, recycle. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh failed. <laughs> um. If I get a Fighting Energy, I could switch to Hitmonchan. Uh, I was gonna say I could... Ooh, I could Computer Search for a Fighting Energy. Because I, I would do a uh, switch to Hitmonchan to get a Fighting Energy. See, Meowth is weak to fighting, so that I'll do 40 plus 10, which is 50, which means I'll win the game. Uh, so let's make the most of our hand here. I, well, I, what do I mean? What do I mean make the most of my hand? I don't have to do anything here, actually. I just... I, I automatically win, basically, now. <laughs> I don't know, I just kinda like, for the last turn, I always like to make the most of things. Just, I don't know, it's something fun that I do is like a tradition of sorts. Plus power, and... Jab. <laughs> Woo! One! Ooh, our canine. <laughs> Came a little bit late here, and... I don't really have a Growlithe anyway, but whatever, I win the game. I wonder if I should battle him again, because that seemed really fast. Yeah, I think I'm gonna battle him again, because you didn't really see much of his deck, did you? Yeah! Ooh, another Blastoise. The king of turtles. And um, he has one of the versions of the Haunter. Yeah, it's kind of sad that I didn't get to see, I didn't get to show much of his deck. Especially since it's a ghost deck and we didn't see any ghosts. By the way, here's a, a Gengar that he would most likely play. Uh, curse moves around energy, I mean, not, not energy, damage counters, and Dark Mind allows you to attack bench Pokemon. Pretty handy. And there we go. Okay, let's do a really quick duel here. Rematch, just for the sake of showing his deck. Now watch, he'll beat me without me uh, without uh, me having enough bench Pokemon or something. <laughs> just because I'm confident enough to think that I'm going to beat him twice in a row and then he's going to demolish me. <laughs> nah, we'll see. Uh, one bench Pokemon again. Really? <laughs> okay. This could be another, uh, another issue for him. <laughs> But we'll see, I guess. He could do a little pound here every so often, but chances are I'm going to wear him down faster than he'll wear me down. And... Pop that on there. And... Let's just see if I can win this turn for kicks. Just, just for kicks. Oh my god, I won! <laughs> this is... This is not his day! <laughs> Alright, I... Got more booster packs. <laughs> Should I do him a third time just for kicks? Ooh, Pidgeot. Rare version. Wing attack and hurricane. You know this version of it. Yeah. Uh, another war turtle. That'll be nice for later. As you know, rain dance deck and stuff and stuff. And good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Multiple copies of the same card are great, actually. Um, because a lot of people, when they get a duplicate card, they're like, Oh man, I got that one before! But no, 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 in trading card games, you want duplicates to increase your odds of getting the, the right cards. Alright, I'll, I'll give you one more chance here. One more chance. <laughs> I don't, if he doesn't have the bench Pokemon again, I don't know what I should do. Oh god, he, he doesn't have anything in his hand. But if he doesn't have anything... Say, oh my god, really? 
Is his deck just really lacking basic Pokemon or something like that for his draw probabilities? Because, oh, three times in a row? Are you serious? <laughs> now, if this was back in the old rules of the game, I'd be able to draw two cards uh, each time he didn't have basic Pokemon in his hand, in his opening hand. Because uh, it, it's called a mulligan, but there's no mulligans in this game. Anyway... Well, it looks like that he's actually got a decent shot this time. <laughs> uh, Zubat is resistant to Machop, if I'm not mistaken, so that could cause me ire. And yeah, he's got enough bench Pokémon this time. Hmm... Let's bill. And then let's bill him for a few cards later. Uh, I can't really power up Machop, that's unfortunate, but he can't really attack anyway, so... I'll just focus on uh, Kangaskhan. Sound good? Good. Besides, uh, Kangaskhan is going to be resistant to his Psychic Pokémon. And by Psychic Pokémon, I mean Ghost Pokémon, because Ghost Pokémon are, are relocated to the uh, uh, Psychic type because, you know, typing types and, you know, there wouldn't be very many Ghost Pokémon for a Ghost deck and whatnot. But that's the reason why they combined a lot of types uh, back in the early days of the Pokémon TCG. And... And then, and I'm going to get that on there. I still can't do anything with Machop, but I, I still can't attack uh, anyway because, you know, resistance and whatnot, so... Mm, I'll just plop that on there, I guess, because I got the double colorless energy for uh, um, Comet Punch, you know, uh, Kangaskhan's Comet Punch, and yep, it's good gonna go down, unfortunately. And so Kangaskhan's up next as my main attacker. Hello, Magmar! Alright, so I'm going to do that. Plus power, I'm not gonna put on Kangaskhan, because it's either gonna do uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, or zero damage. So, with Golbat 60 HP, plus power isn't really gonna help all that much. And I already attached an energy card, that's right. Let's see how many heads I can get. Or not. <laughs> Uh, two out of four. That's about average. And hopefully, I'll be able to knock it out next turn. There's a very high chance I'll be able to knock it out next turn. Leech Life, and... Uh, <laughs> maybe not that high of a chance. Anyway, I'll get Magmar powered up just in case. Let's do a Comic Punch. Let's get those heads. No... No! Come on, are you serious? <laughs> He's gonna stall me out with Leech Life, just because I'm not getting the coin flips. <laughs> That's exactly what he's hoping for, I'm sure, too. So it looks like we have an actual game going on here, can you believe this? <laughs> I know, it's, am it's amazing! Uh, I could actually swap out to uh, Magmar for some more consistency, but I'll keep going with the coin flips. Just to give him a little chance. Oh, no, Golbat's going down. <laughs> And finally got that 60 damage that I could use a couple turns back when he had full HP, but eh, whatever. Um, now that he's got Ditto out, this might be the time that I would like to try using plus power, because if I get only uh, two coin flips, which is, you know, average, then he'll end up doing 50 damage because of that. And he might do a morph, yeah, uh, this is an interesting attack, it, it swaps out to another Pokémon. This could actually be bad for him or not. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad for him. <laughs> He's got the fossil version of Ghastly here, and that's not going to do much of anything. I mean, he can pull back energy cards, but yeah, it's... his deck just does not fare well against mine today, does it? <laughs> Pop that on there, and let's hope for two heads at the very least. <laughs> it, it only has to be two heads for this turn's win, yeah! Say for this knockout. There we go. And what do we get what do we get fire energy. That'll be good for my Magmar invasion going on here. <laughs> I can't believe I battled this guy three times just because of the uh, <laughs> just because of his terrible, terrible luck. And comet punch. <laughs> Remember, even number of uh, HP doesn't warrant the plus power. So, well, unless you have two plus powers. <laughs> But the, t the time that I had two plus powers, I didn't really need two plus powers, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying yeah a lot, aren't I? Yeah! <laughs> um, okay, plus power that. 
magmar that fire. Well, fire the magmar. I'm gonna punch. Two heads is all I need. Yep. And I win the game, because this will give me the last prize card. Whew. Yeah, that was, uh... Another one-sided duel, for the most part. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it a part. He, he, it's clear he doesn't stand a chance against my deck today. Uh, what do we get in this pack? Eh, nothing. At least nothing of interest. Eh, I, I should say nothing new. Because, uh, yeah, multiple copies, as I said, are pretty good. Alright, and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go up there to tackle the other... F I was gonna say Psychic Club members. Fighting Club members! Ta-da-da! Hope you enjoyed.